For those with diabetes, the destruction of nerves in your feet may lead to a lifetime of damage. Because it doesn't hurt, uh, they keep walking on it and they don't get the feedback that they've got a problem. An ulcer is more likely to become infected if it's present for more than 30 days. So check your feet daily for any of the following injuries. You may not even feel them. When I took my boot off, my sock was all full of blood. I got a little one inch stone underneath my foot and I never felt it. Wash in lukewarm water and avoid soaking so your skin doesn't break down. Pat dry and use lotion to keep them soft, but don't apply between the toes. That could cause a fungal infection. Use cornstarch or talcum powder instead. When trimming, go straight across to prevent painful ingrown toenails. Use clean, dry socks made of cotton or wool that aren't too tight or loose, as the elastic bands can restrict blood flow. And make sure you're wearing shoes that fit properly and provide support for the heel, arch, and ball of the foot. One study found that 63% of diabetics wear the wrong size. If any lesions arise, see a doctor right away. Waiting over six weeks to see a doctor can increase the likelihood of an amputation. I'm Marty Salt reporting.